it going today everybody? It's Brandon down here at Snake River Fly again. Um, got a little balance leech tutorial we're going to do today uh, using nothing but zero gravity dub. Um, I know that the, there's a couple other ones out there utilizing just the dub for this fly, but we're going to use a couple different techniques to give this here profile. Um, kind of gives you that perfect looking little leech. If you tie them in olives, gives you damsels. You know, you can tie them in browns for your other leech colors. And then also white for your little minnows. Um, so the hook we're using today is a number 10 moonlit 60 degree jig. We're also using a 3.5 millimeter blue tungsten slotted bead from those guys. Um, this one's their gold. Um, you can also do the brown with a, a chartreuse similar to that burnt toast leech and a couple other different variations. Um, we're gonna be tying the black one today though. So we're gonna be using this black zero G, but just like I showed you in the other ones, um, it does come in a bunch of different flavors. As you can see here, and there's even more uh, color combinations that you can do and mix and match if you'd like. Um, the pin that we're using, we do have a new uh, balance leech pin in black. Um, they're a little bit longer, but you can trim them down with a pair of dykes to match any, any size you want. But we like the longer ones because it gives you a little more versatility in some of your bigger leeches that you want to be tying. So we're going to jump right into this. I've already got a hook prepped here with my bead and pin. You can see where we're using tungsten, I've set this in pretty close. Um, if you extend this out too far, then your fly won't balance correctly, even though if you were to put a piece of line through it and hold it up and it balanced perfectly in the air, as soon as you have the resistance from the water, it may keel in a different way. So keeping that bead in tight as close um, as possible is key. Um, we're using some of the flat wax six off in black um, from Semperfly, and we're just gonna Start our thread here and you can see I've stopped my pin at about this point. That way, when I tie in my tail here, I'm gonna fold it over um, and it'll give me a nice smooth transition and taper throughout that. So we're gonna take a small clump here and what I'm gonna do first is where all these fibers are kind of long, I'm actually gonna take and kind of pull those apart and then stack them again so I can get the length that I want. I'm gonna set those down on the back and just tie those in at the midpoint. I'm gonna give it one or two wraps back and then back to where I have my pin tied in. And then I'm gonna fold those over, capture that. And you'll see that that gives us a pretty smooth um, body and gets rid of that weird bump that we had there in the back. So now a little bit more of that zero gravity dub. We're gonna take and we're gonna noodle dub this on here. That pinch and roll technique. And the cool thing about noodle dubbing this is you get a lot of that fuzzy, buggy kind of look like you do if you were to tie in a marabou feather and wrap it up the shank, but this is just takes all the work out of that. And so then we're just gonna start wrapping this up, filling in our body. Definitely getting a little bit fatter as we get up towards that front end because we got to fill that pin in and right up behind the bead. Pick out any stragglers. Now, I mean, this leech right here would be perfect. I like adding a little collar just for a little bit of extra movement. This zero gravity where we're, we're taking that stem out of the marabou, this stuff, even without being stripped or twitched or anything, even in lakes with no real current, um, has a life of its own and really has some great movement and gets those fish to eat it. And so with this one, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna pull it in half like I did before and then I'm gonna pull it in half again. So quartering it down. So I get a pretty small clump like so. I'm gonna lay that right on top and I kind of have it fanned out and I'm gonna take my fingers behind it. And I'm gonna pinch it around the body so it rolls and then I'm gonna catch it with a couple loose wraps and I'm gonna take my fingers and just kind of roll, roll that material all the way around so we get a full coverage for that collar. And then I'm gonna tighten down, give it a couple more. I'm gonna pull that all back and build a little thread dam here behind my bead. That way it all comes back and creates that nice little cup around the body. So then lastly, we're gonna come in and we're gonna give it a couple whip finishes. Cut that, pick out any long ones that you don't like, but you can, there you have it. 
that there is the zero G balance leech. It's a great pattern if you're fishing, you know, any sections of the snake. Um, also a really effective lake pattern, like I was talking, if you're tying them in the olives, um, when that damsel hatch comes off in that early summertime, it's super, super effective. And like I was talking as well, this stuff right here just moves and breeds all on its own and almost cheating. So we appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, you can find this video on our website at uh, snakeriverfly.com and also on our YouTube channel. Um, there will be materials, um, a list down in the description and links for you to go find those. Um, and yet again, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.